Deli Ali, who's come back from his loan, uh, Besiktas. Just to sort of reference a couple of things, their manager said he's claimed that he'd not turned up to training and couldn't be contacted, something that, that Deli himself disagreed with. Uh, and Senol Gunes also said he has not met our expectations as a team. How do you view the way that Deli Ali's career has gone over the last three or four seasons? Um, well, he hasn't gone anywhere, if we're honest. Um, I think Deli Ali has, uh, has been one of these young players who has had such success early on in his career and maintaining a level of mentality is, is what's the challenge is. You know, when you've had success and you, you played for England, you've been at World Cups, etc., you have to have a really tough mindset to stay there. And he got challenged by Jose Mourinho at Spurs. Mm. And it seems to be, that seems to be the time where he kind of started to, to go downhill, not being picked, you know, treated maybe not as a star player. And I think he's, he struggled. And I'd like to see him, you know, get some help to, to help him come back because he's still young enough and he's still got the talent to, to, to make a career, the rest of his career at it. But he has to get that part right. That was going to be my question, actually, that clearly the talent is not the problem. So it might be a, a psychological mm -hmm. thing. So you'll have played alongside players who had their issues off the field. What do you do to them? And actually, that it might have changed because of the way that football has changed, that it could be a senior player who just takes him aside and says, look, this is... Or does now, because of what clubs have got available, you, you get something professional in, in the system and think, this is how we navigate you back to the Deli Alley we all want to see from four or five years ago? Yeah, I, I think it, you could look at a combination. Um, good teammates around help, but it's when you leave the club, that's where you need the outside person to be able to sit down with you. Because you know what? The, the life of a professional football, everybody thinks it's, it's, it's rosy. It isn't. It's a, it's, it can be very lonely. So for Deli Ali, he needs someone who he can relate to, somebody he can speak to when he's on the highs and when he's on the lows like he is. He needs somebody to be able to bounce things off and, and kind of level it out because you don't want to be too high when you're high and you don't want to be too low when you're low. You need a, a certain balance. And I, I sincerely hope for his sake, I hope Deli Ali gets the help he needs. Uh, and, and, and therefore, it, sometimes as an ex-pro, you look at it almost with a tinge of, of sadness at, at seeing someone so talented not being able to deliver as he is at the moment. Yeah, I, I look at it with a little bit of sadness, but um, the job isn't finished. You know, Deli Ali's still there. He's still a, a, a player who's signed to a, a football club that's dear to my heart. He needs help. Uh, clearly, he needs help, and I just hope he understands he needs the help and he gets it.